So I love gardening. Uh, we recently gave up our allotment, which is a little piece of land that you rent from your local council. It was about a five, 10 minute drive from where we live, but we gave that up so that we could try and turn our own garden into a vegetable garden. So I'm gonna show you what we've been doing so far and what we have. So this section is sort of like, um, used to be the orchard. We have some raspberry canes growing over there. And what I did this weekend was I moved some of the strawberry plants into this little section here. I'm hoping that the strawberries can help to keep the weeds at bay in this area. And then over here, I dug up a red currant bush because we don't really like red currants. And they came with the house when we bought the house. And I've planted some red onions, as you can see. Now I've noticed that I've got a lot of these little things popping up. I don't know what they are, but uh, here's one of them. I need to figure out what plant this is and the best way to deal with it. So that's what we have um, over there. And this is the plum tree, which has got blossom now. It's pretty lovely. And we have an apple tree over here. Um, and so to the left here, that's where the raspberry canes are. And got a pear tree. And then over here, I planted out some rhubarb. So I got three different varieties of rhubarb. So this one is Victoria. And over here, this one is, this is Stockbridge Arrow. This is supposed to be a really sweet variety. And this one is champagne. I've planted a clematis plant and the idea is I'm hoping that it will grow over this fence. And then we still have all of this to do. We cut back this hedge. This hedge was out all the way over here. And the idea is to eventually completely dig it out and plant things over. We've got this covered down to suppress the weeds because this will look like a jungle eventually. So but that's the pear tree. And this is a black currant bush. This is a really, really good bush. That's currently where we're putting the pile of lawn grass clippings. And over here, we have this raised bed, which we've prepared for asparagus. So I ordered the asparagus crowns, and then we'll plant those in there. I plan on turning these into herbs, garden herbs. Um, I've sowed the seeds, the seeds are in the greenhouse and it just has to get warm enough for me to transplant them out. And oh, we got a little birdie. So many birds. And so it got quite a lot of forget-me-nots and just this area over here, I sowed some broad beans. I feel like the bird is talking to me. I love it. <laughs> but that area over here, I sowed some broad beans um, on there, so it'll be quite a while before they come out. But when I was clearing off the weeds, because it was mostly creeping buttercup that was on here, I left out these because these are aquilegia or halloween plant and they do some really nice flowers. I also left out the forget-me-nots because I love them and they're very, very pretty and beautiful flowers. So this is what we have right now. Stay tuned, subscribe for more about... Uh, growing uh, vegetables and plants and gardening.